Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. You know I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh! Uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course! Oh, you'll see my comic books! I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful. It may be tricky. Look closely. Hmm, okay. You sure? The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Okay, how did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Mar T Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So. Where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know? about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But... You'll be okay. 
You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Ah, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Many trees. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. You coming, Sean? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to Hi. Everything all right? All good. Is that a yo yo? Quiet morning as usual. <laughs> Daniel had one back home. Tell me if you need anything. Bet he'd love this. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. This guy is looking over here. Better not try anything yet. This guy is looking over here. Better not try anything yet.
Time to take the pen, dude. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. draw this. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books! The awesome adventures of... Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. Yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies or UFO? Mm, what about a zombie attack on Beaver Creek? Okay, got it. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes the midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me. We play the game with skillful ends, and so I asked for your demands. Give me your love, give me your gun, and you traced us back to where we got. So the morning came. It's not much, but. She probably needs it more than me right now. I was now. looking for a way to disappear amongst the quiet things. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it too. Right? Whoa, the guy who painted that, he must have been seriously high. Found I've you never ever been, been on such a dangerous mission. Um, yeah, something for my little brother. You we bought your brother something out here. Damn. 
Poor kid. Sorry. Um, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> and you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Mm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I, I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him! You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? <clears throat> Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean.
Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! But anyway... Got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily... She died two years ago. Obviously... It was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Claire is... hard. A little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way. Or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? 
told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Trissa's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Sean, hurry up. They might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Okay, Steven, where do you hide this key? We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. I saw Grandma coming out the room yesterday. Did you see where she put the key? No, I don't remember. <sighs> yep, it's empty.
sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key What was here. Claire doing in that room? Maybe she put the key in her pocket. What was she wearing yesterday? <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Karen's smile in this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Sean, what's taking so long? <sighs> I can't find the key, Daniel. Then, let's just blow this stupid door. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can't. I gotta find a way to open that door, or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. We have to get into that room, before they come back. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Clarence Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I don't know, Inano. I wish I could answer that. Okay. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... five more minutes. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. It's like she almost never used those. Hmm. So that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. 
from what I remember. Oh. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. I don't recognize any of these games. I think it's not plugged. I miss my skateboard and going to the park with Lila. Did she tell you why she left? She told Dad and they want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. She told Dad and Dad told me. Hi, Teddy Bear. He told you too. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. She told Dad and... Dad told me... Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. She told Dad and... Dad told me... Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. She told so, Dad and you were a friend of my Dad mommy's? told me. He told you too. I hope she took good right. care All of you. He ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well, these pictures are so random. Well, did she take you with she her finally when figured she it out. went on trips? Because she never looked back, and we have to do the same thing so too. Much. I know. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Is that all you have to say? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learned to respect some rules. 
Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs.
way. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. You're always telling me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, eh, Nano? For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. It's me, you've come to take my due. 